What's happening, gang? And welcome back to another Android Spotlight. Today we're taking a look at my favorite Nintendo DS emulator on the Android platform, and that would be the Drastic DS emulator. Now, all gameplay shown today will be on my NVIDIA Shield, and I'll show you how this emulator works in both... Uh, portrait and landscape. It has several setups for how to use your screens and it just runs brilliantly. So let's jump right into it. I'll start off by showing a few screen setups. Now my personal favorite is one screen being larger and one screen being smaller, but I'll show that there are several different formats you can use. When you go into your menu, you'll see the different layouts for the screens. I personally like the top middle one, and you can set a button for uh, changing the focused screen. But if you like to have your screens the same size, there's also options for holding your device in a, uh, a portrait type setup. But I'm showing off my favorite design right now. I have pressing in my left analog as switching my screen focuses. And as you can see, it runs really smooth. This never drops below 100% on my Tegra 4 device. Next I go into my menu and I change it to more of a portrait setup in case you want to use your phone or tablet upright. Now this setup works just as well. It uh, doesn't work very well on Nvidia Shield because it's made to run in landscape, but if you are playing on a phone or something else like that, this setup works just fine. But going back into the setup I like the most on my NVIDIA Shield, it's made for landscape, and you can have one screen larger that you're focused, and then you can still see the other screen really well, and you can toggle between the two at will. So say you're in battle, and you want to bring up the menu, you toggle to the other screen, and you can do that. Also, all touch input is still available. I like to use a mouse cursor on my NVIDIA Shield with my right thumbstick, but touch still works completely. Now I will leave a link in the description of this video of where you can get the Drastic DS emulator on the Google Play Store. Now keep in mind you do need to own the physical copies of the game in order to legally run them on your emulator. And there are even guides and walkthroughs on how to rip the files off of the cartridge itself onto your computer or onto your Android device in order to run it on the emulator. So there should be links to that on the uh, Google Play site for this emulator. And just as a demonstration, here's a little off-screen action for you on my NVIDIA Shield. You can see that I'm clicking in my left thumbstick to change the focus on the screen. I'll bring it in close so you can see how clear it is, though I'm using the equivalent of a potato to take this video. I apologize for that. So that'll about wrap it up, guys. I fully recommend that if you're looking for a good, no, not just good, the best Nintendo DS emulator on the Android market, get the Drastic DS emulator. You will not regret it. Again, you need to own the physical copies of the game in order to run them on the emulator legally. So I'm hoping that the developers behind the Drastic DS emulator make a Drastic 3 DS emulator. That's something I would love to see. So yeah guys, this has been the Android Spotlight for my favorite, the best DS emulator on the Google Play Store. Go out, go buy it. And if you like what you've seen here, if you're going to go check out the Drastic DS emulator, leave that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next Android Spotlight.